in September 30th, 1915, there were, I think, 379 students, all right? The vision of the province for this institution, think about it, 100 years ago, was to offer a satisfactory education and to conduct respectable research. 100 years ago. I think we've overachieved. It's extraordinary what's happened in the last decade since I've been here. This campus has been transformed. The student body has changed over the last, it's been nine years. I'd say first and foremost, it's larger. We have over 50,000 students here on this campus and 10,000 at UBC Okanagan. And I, I don't know the exact, but it's probably 20% more students on both campuses. If you look at where those students come from, they come from, of course, British Columbia, but they come from across the country, every province, and most importantly, our international students, which now make up, I think, almost 20% of our student population. That's extraordinary. I'm not here to chart a vision, right? Um, certainly Professor Toop and Professor Gupta have done that. And my job is to continue that vision. But if I were to chart a vision, I believe UBC in the next decade is so well positioned to be the best university in this country. We have all the assets. We have outstanding students. We have incredible faculty. We have this magnificent two campuses. We have the support of the government. We have 300,000 alumni. We have all the assets to turn up the heat. And we must, we must be the best university in this country. We, we have no excuse why not to be. So that's my challenge, right? We have it within our grasp. We just have to ensure that we pursue it with all the passion and energy we can bring to it.